Hello and thanks for listening in to the final broadcast of Radio Ottery's Trial Weekend. I hope you've managed to catch as much as possible over the course of the project and enjoy the wide variety of material on offer. Our webmaster Steve has made all the programmes available on our site for the foreseeable future, so you won't have to miss a thing. As you may be aware, Radio Ottery is a project in the making. At the end of July, we were given a month-long zero-budget timescale to demonstrate interest and enthusiasm for a permanent radio station in our town. So, without spending a penny, we got residents involved and we ended up with a number of people in Ottery and its surrounding areas contributing in numerous ways. We had an introduction to the project featuring local music, interviews and Samuel Taylor Coleridge readings to kick-start the weekend. Martin Morgan, the local Olympic torchbearer, then reviewed this summer's games, looked ahead to Rio and touched on his life in Ottery. He's a taekwondo expert and hopes his talent can take him to dizzy heights. After that, Sally Sedgman talked about her life, career and experiences which made for an intriguing hour. Local resident Colin Tyndall then played his favourite tracks and chatted about his life in Ottery in an hour-long show. Ottery St Mary Football Club demolished Orlescombe United 3-0 and Radio Ottery brought you all the action from the commentary box. Graham Varley, the Otter's manager, spoke afterwards. Philip Algar later recollected his memories as a journalist focusing on bloopers and hiccups, making a hilarious 30 minutes. Steve Mingo and Matt Hemmings were then on air for two hours with everything, music, interviews, games, banter and more. Chris Davies and Ash Green, students from Ottery, had a great time telling stories and playing tracks on both the Saturday and Sunday. Alex Davis played his favourite video game soundtracks and chatted about why they're so atmospheric and emotional. Robin Ree let me cook up a dish with him at the Rusty Pig and told me about his involvement at the River Cottage. Bob Gage's Sunday brunch followed that with music, a history of Ottery, an On This Day feature and plenty more. Then Daniel Mumby was at the movies as he looked at the most fascinating film soundtracks. And John Dre followed with plenty of memories and music from a local 60s rock and roller. All the programmes were made available over the weekend of August the 25th and 26th online at otteryradio.co.uk and your response was incredible. We had listeners in France, Cyprus and Canada, as well as all over England. We're going to take your enthusiasm and do our best to secure funding that will see a fully equipped studio built in Ottery. We want absolutely anybody to be able to pop in and broadcast. We aim to cater for the youngsters of the town, but also maintain that community feel by focusing on heritage and history. So. Are we going to disappear behind closed doors and is that it for Radio Ottery until later on this year? Absolutely not. You can still help out by sending feedback, suggestions and ideas to radioottery at gmail.com and keep updated on our progress at facebook.com slash radioottery. I'm Oscar and it's been a pleasure to work with our contributors and listeners over the course of the project and I really hope you've been encouraged by what you've seen and heard. It just leaves me to thank you for supporting us in these exciting times. This truly could be, and I hope it is, the start of something brilliant for Ottery St Mary.